But as we speak, Mike Finoy and Black Lou are out in the lobby. This is how we have to uh, guerrilla market everything we do. Um, they are out there in the lobby waiting for John Mayer to walk by so they can try to infiltrate him. And be, now, he's done Mike's podcast before. Mike's podcast partner uh, is in Dead & Company, O'Teal. Uh, I don't remember his last name. But uh, there, he's in the band with John Mayer. So he's done the podcast with O'Teal and Mike. And he used to hang at the cellar all the time. And then one time, Noam even made me sit down and have an awkward conversation with him and Katy Perry. I mean... I, that's the, I used your name. Yeah. I, when I talked to the talent, I said, he, know, he and Big J know each other oh, very well from the comedy, the comedy club. Yes, comedy cellar. You think he likes that if I do that when he comes in? Oh, John Mayer, dude, good to see you. I make the whole dumb face and everything. You know, I don't see myself as a twink. Did you ever see him live? No, I'm not really familiar with him. He rips, dude. I'm not a big. Like, I know he's a great. I'm not a big on the music, but man, that guy can play the guitar. Yeah. He once uh, sang a Pearl Jam song to me, serenaded me. Why are you not out there in the lobby, dude? Dragging him in here. We have so many connections to John Mayer. It's yeah. nonstop. Yeah, because him and Pete Corielli were friends. War friends. Christine's trying to nag him. She's like, I bet he's not that cool. I'm like, oh, here you go. She's leaving with him. Hey, Christine, you want to come on my full ride, my Ferrari? I uh, uncheck Jay, dude. What should we do? You guys want to get some gay porn up on the screen? If John Mayer walks in and we're working completely on uncheck Jay? <laughs> well, I told Lewis and I went out and asked the talent, and I'll tell you this, Jay. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the same woman that got me Barry Manilow. Yeah. Um, they weren't, they didn't seem as enthusiastic. Yeah. Because I, I said that, and he said, I got it. Oh, really? And then we were about to walk away, and I turned back and I said, we're in Studio 3, in case he does. They you didn't bet. even ask. You yeah. bet. Oh, no, dude, they had never totally. asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I walked away thinking, here he is. He's here not coming. Here he is. He's actually not coming. Top of my life. Hello. Was, were we right about... Uh, our feeling when we walk after we asked. Yes, yes. When no, he, he hasn't come out of studio yet. He was supposed to be out at five. So there's, so still, still, time. You know, there's still time. There's still time. Still time. Jacob, go let someone know though. Somebody go let somebody know that we were on for two hours and there's we'd like pick. him to come in whenever. There's a pick set too that we were kind of avoiding. Someone was waiting in the hallway like a. Oh, to please sign this. What? No, more like to uh, a buffer. A Someone buffer, to make yes. sure Keep, people, are, yeah, like yes. a buffer. Oh, a pick set. I think you meant a set of guitar picks. Yeah. No, like setting a pick, like a human pick. Got gotcha. you. So mm. we kind of did like Keystone Capers, like we were like dot, like going in and out of hallways and shit. <laughs> well, Black Lou, you have a low center. You're built like a, a fucking fullback, dude. Damn right. You go in there, wipe through that pick first of all, <laughs> pancake fucking fold that asshole. I mean, we can go back out and try. Yeah. Who, who do you talk to? I only know our talent people. Are you texting someone now? I am going to text Jim just yeah, text to see. Say it's like, hey, we'd love yeah. to have him come in. We both have know him. He sang a song to Lou before. I did not know that. DJ Lou yep. said he was serenaded by him. What Pearl Jam song did he sing to you? It was called Chloe Dancer. It was actually a Mother Love Bone song. And when he sang to me, I went underneath the console and I hid because it was so awkward, but also very beautiful. Well, I'll, I'll John Mayer Pearl Jam you. Hello. I'm not feeling it. Is that good? No. That doesn't make you hide under the. No. So it's not How awkward to hide under the desk. Spoken, <laughs> hey, he wouldn't stop. Jam spoken crazy. Jam spoken crazy. Woe's your life. Woe's your life. He ran. Slip it on, baby, don't put your bone paper, concrete. Should we go back out there or are you good? Yeah, you Mike, you can't it? go back out there. You have to talk on air. That's what I was going to uncheck wanna... Jay. Christine was two clicks from putting gay porn up on the screen. Oh, there he is. Short haired Johnny. Oh, he's shibba shabbing. Short haired Johnny. What's he looking now? <laughs> long haired Johnny. Does he have long hair? <laughs> Fashionably so... long, you know. Yeah. Was, it, it just falls beautifully on the Perfectly. nape of his neck. Of course. <laughs> He's yeah. so famous. It just slightly uh, goes over his what is some sort of uh, 
just like leather necklace. Yeah, it's not yeah. really a, a Johnny Depp necklace. Or it's thin. Isn't it great? Like, there's a point of wealth that you can get to where it's cooler. Like, it looks dumb if you have like a big like. Oh, my necklace costs whatever. It's awesome when you're. Everything else around you is so great that your jewelry can just be. Oh, this just means something to me. It's just a little thing on a small, yeah. thin chain. They're like, oh, this is a piece of uh, rawhide that a uh, Navajo medicine man gave me once yeah, when yeah, I was yeah, visiting yeah. with Robert Redford. Yeah. They all have a story like that. This is a little uh, It's a little container that has uh, Taylor Swift's thatch hairs in it. <laughs> you just get to that point where you start looking like a mix between Keith Richards and a pirate. <laughs> Which didn't you want to go? Depp. At one point, didn't you want to go necklaces, heavy necklaces? Over quarantine, we said we were all going to come out. None of us committed to it. We were all going to come out with a different look. Some of us did it during the quarantine and didn't commit to it. Black uh, DJ Lou was rocking straight up Kangos for a while. Mm. I still am. And then, uh, yeah, we've gone back to baseball hat pretty consistently. Well, it depends what I'm doing. That's fair. This is your work hat? Yes. But the Kango hat became a real, uh, that's. Was a real look for him. I still think Luke could probably pull off the small brim fedora, dude. No, let me tell you something. Sometimes people pull off a hat. You know who, uh, t shirt oh. Kevin, t shirt Kevin, uh, who uh, also thank you, t shirt Kevin, t shirt Kevin's for, awesome, uh, bringing awesome stuff to me this weekend. He made a shirt that's uh, it's great. It says Kevin Hart, uh, J, and it's a it's just uh, all the texts that I sent to Kev that he never responded to. Oh, like, it's like a stand. <laughs> like a stand. That's great. <laughs> but T-Shirt Kevin, uh, in the time I've known him, started rocking a, a Rocky hat. Uh, correct- a Rocky one hat. And it works. And correct me if I'm wrong, isn't he also rocking suspenders as well? Did he have suspenders and a T-shirt? Did I not thought? see suspenders, no. I thought maybe the first night he did. No, but he looks like suspenders. A, he looks like he runs a cool uh, rock club. Yeah. Yeah, T-shirt Kevin's got it. He does all Bobby's merch also, and Bonfire merch. He's a, he's a super cool dude. Yeah. Right this second? He's a okay. super cool guy. Oh, wow, nice. It did work out. Hey. hey. Hey, what's up, man? John Mayer, everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. What a surprise. What's up, my man? Good to see you, Good to see you buddy. Just, tell, just showed everyone the clip about the fat guy breaking the chair, which I saw two days ago. And just, this is oh, one really? Of the best clips I've ever <laughs> your, your wordplay is insane. What you a gift. Fatly went through a chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on a pile of broken chairs. That's my shit. Like, small, little, just... Just funky language is my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, I, we, me and John uh, had to, met a few times when we were working back. You were working back to Comedy Cell. You're oh, I used to watch comedy him at the cell, Comedy Cell, and he was so good that I said to myself, "I'm going to do that too." <laughs> <laughs> and it almost ruined my career. So thank you. <laughs> we had a chat. It almost ruined your career. I, O'Teal and I co-host the podcast. Yeah, no, I did you, the, the podcast with you guys during and Billy. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was so great. Do you are you as interested in like like? Drug talk as they are, uh, the power of mushrooms, and I mean, can, can you? Are you? Oh yeah, Mike's all spacey on you, that so shit. So you do, you do, you are. I do. Yeah, I've been doing ketamine recently, okay. and yeah, mushrooms. But I don't have to talk about it. I'd much rather do them. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yes. But if they want to talk, I'll talk yes. for sure. Yeah, yeah, talking about drugs is only cool for people who have actually done right. Drugs, yeah. Well, you know what I loved about you being on was that like you and I were geeking out about watching old interviews of Jerry Garcia and yes. Bob Weir and how yes. they would kind of like set each and, other and, up. And, 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 and also like what I wouldn't say on the air is that Bobby would just, Bobby was all effort. Wait, hang on, John. This is on the air. <laughs> Bobby was all effort. <laughs> and Jerry was just naturally funny. Right, right. Bobby would like really pedal. Yep. And Jerry just had the joke. It just it was, had, was naturally funny. Yeah. He was, he was Dave's speed. Yep, and then there yeah. were a couple of those when he nailed it, when they were like, has fa- has fame changed you? And he's like, now when I get a pistachio that's closed, those are, I don't even bother. That's, but that's from a <laughs> uh, like a press conference or something. Right, That right. was great. Yeah. But then you could tell Bob went and were like, you know when people bring their things in? Sure. And you can tell yes. they brought them in and they don't work as well? <laughs> and then Jerry was just funny bones. Oh, uh, that's the anyway. best. Are you, uh, are you out of the comedy biz altogether? You don't get the itch at all anymore? No, I don't get the itch. I, I understand comedy really. I'm like an acting teacher yeah, who yeah. would never be in a movie. I understand comedy. I can give <laughs> notes. I can give you the pieces of a joke, but they won't buy. They just don't buy. I, mean, I think yeah. I was the first guy to disguise myself and talk to fans. It was. I mean, but it was oh, so yeah. funny because he'd yeah. go up to like the guys who definitely were there for their girlfriends, kind of. Yeah. Thing. It was, he like sought them out. It was so funny. Yeah, I was in a bear costume making fun <laughs> of me, and then you would see on Kimmel Drake dressed up like someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I do think I was the first person to talk to my own fans 
who didn't know it was me and kind of make fun of Pioneer, me. Pioneer, dude. Yeah. I mean, I'll take little, little things. Little <laughs> thing. Did you ever see someone do a joke and you go, that joke wouldn't exist if it weren't for me? Oh, no. <laughs> I never have that. I wish. <laughs> I wish I felt that good about my comedy. You, is there a ripoff of you out there that every time you look at them, you go, that guy is just a pure ripoff of me and I can't stand it? No, it's. I don't see that at all, but it is funny like to see um, like the people that, I, that do have... You know, kind of thing. People that are getting successful now that I'm like, oh, I know their origin. Yes. Like, thing for sure. I would never see it myself, I don't think. You did, you did a joke about Michael Richards once, and I think about all the time. Yeah. That the worst thing is probably him walking around with other races going, hey, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, just <laughs> you probably haven't done that joke in forever, and I just, I won't ever forget it. Like, the idea that he now has people going, hey, man. Yeah, it's, right it's the worst thing. Some people are like, I get it, dude. Like, no, oh, it was it was a joke. Hey, I just thought that was, I, I think about, it's funny what jokes you hear and you think about. Yeah. Years later. That was Hell cool. yeah, man. Anyway, I'm well, sure dude, you guys have to go back on Dude, that, thank you. It's good to see you, man. So, so much, man. I'm a super fan. Good Let's to see you in person. It. Congratulations, nice man. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, Excited got, for the station. I got a channel. So. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got you. Uh, we'll promote. Please, when you come back in, come on and promote. And, uh, oh, let please. me write my su career suicide note first. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good to see you, man. Good to thank see you, John. Man. Thank see you so much. Now, I do have a legality question. He clearly had no idea we were on the air. Uh, what do we do about that? <laughs> I mean, it's out there. They didn't tell me we were a live show. I said we were doing a show. I know, but I'm, he definitely, he said I wouldn't say this if we were on the air at one point, and then he said, I'm sure you guys have to get back on the air. Uh, you said we were leaving. on the air. Who did? I th I th he said, did. Oh, I did, but I don't think he, I, I think he had like a, <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, we have our things on. I know, but he was nowhere near a microphone. But Christine did crank it towards him, which is hilarious. And then he leaned in. Yeah, no, perfect. but when he leaned in, he said, the, the thing he said before that was, I definitely wouldn't say this uh, on the air, but, and I went, this, this is on the air. And then I think he was like, oh, yeah, right. And you know, he started saying it in yeah, the I, microphone. I don't think it was anything horrible. No, no, I don't think he said anything horrible at all. I'm just, first of all, he came in here and complimented my comedy by joke several times. Yeah. So, ooh la la, Aren't you I get glad it, that's on the air? Aren't you glad I that's on the air? I get it, ladies. You're like, yo, John, shut up. Can you say dog belly? <laughs> oh, dude, put on some of that again. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I gotta say. The J U R L A M I S. Lewis and I uh, pulled a U and, and bashed the talent people before because we didn't believe <laughs> oh, yeah. in our own power. <laughs> What'd you do? Jim. Not bash them, but we said they, they're not going to do it. Yeah. They don't. They he don't, said you they, they were dismissed. They, yeah. I mean, listen, you know what you saw, though. They were like, yeah, yeah, yeah we got it. Uh, but just let them know these guys know them. Mm, yeah, dude, totally. Totally. Yeah. So <laughs> we lost faith in ourselves, like like his tradition on the, on the show. Mm -hmm. And he walked in. <laughs> you know what, though? Sometimes that's almost like a fun sales <clears throat> tactic to kind of play, like, down. And then yeah. they go like, oh, no, no, it's cool. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. You're like, oh, kicking the dirt. Christine. Like, I'm sorry, I'll blow this. But His dick was right uh, near you. Did you feel it? Yeah, it was so hot. You felt it? <laughs> it was hot. You could feel the heat? And I could feel the heat coming she was off trying, of His dick's like she was an trying Amish to fireplace. You were trying to neg her earlier. She's like, he's this <laughs> oh, and no, he's that. He's very sexy. And she was like, he, of course. <laughs> hey, John Mayer. <laughs> he's beautiful. What a one eighty! What a one eighty! Holy shit! One hundred eighty degrees. She is, I knew she was full of shit. She's, she's downright like giddy. A candle right now. Look at her. Absolutely, dude. Look I think her. I've signed something like DJ Lou. Give her a, a slick, like give her a slick test. <laughs> All of a sudden, she just has a pack of cigarettes on her. She's like, Woof. she she's goes, so wow, bad. dude. Even just seeing him. Oh man, being around his energy. I've yeah. seen him before. How's he but smell, he's Christine? Very sexy. She he's just so nice and so talented, and I bet he tells really funny stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. I go, hey, you, you did our podcast. He's like, yeah, I know. That's hilarious. Comedy almost ruined my life. I forgot he was eating shit for like. No. Yeah. He's like, I'm a massive star. <laughs> well, he's just so under the the public eye, so his open mic level of starting. Yeah. When he hasn't done it at all, is being watched by like TMZ's like. Did John Mayer say blah, blah, blah? <laughs> Hamas was right? Yeah. And he goes, yeah, he was trying to make like a crazy joke, you know? Did John Mayer really steal a handicapped parking spot? Or Damn. was that just open mic material? I gotta be honest with you, man. Those are the kind of moments I wish I took a picture of. You know, <laughs> in our house, Mike, mm. some of our family holiday traditions are really the simplest and most enjoyable. Trimming the tree, making cookies, and prepping a great, great holiday meal. 
Well, each year there's new memories created in moments that are really special, so we capture them on our cameras, and then we share them with family who can't be with us thanks to Aura Digital Picture Frame. It's the perfect gift for people you love. This is not the digital picture frame you remember from years ago. No USB or SD cards, no hassle at all. It's easy to use and even easier to set up. The app walks you through just a few steps and boom, you're ready to go. Now Grandma can see just how well her famous recipes turned out. And our parents right now, Mike, would be looking at a picture of us with John Mayer if we just thought to say, Hey, can we take a picture with you? Hey, can we take a picture with you? Oh, we forgot to say the whole, like, oh, remember you serenaded Lou under the table? And that sounds like I'm saying they had sex under a table. Yes. Yeah, remember the time you serenaded Lou under a table with Pearl Jam? <laughs> yeah. Remember you serenaded his dick hard? Yeah, until he gave you his Pearl Jam? That's what I call cum. <laughs> Pearl Jam. Isn't that what it is? No. No, it's not that. It's I've never not. thought that before in my life, but now that I've fantastic. said it, I think it's fantastic that Pearl Jam should be yeah. what a word for cum. Hashtag Pearl Jam, everybody. Yeah. And, and Big J said it first. Copyright. Copyright. Hobo copyright. Christine, mail it to me. <laughs> right, uh, right. Pearl Jam is come. And Certified. Just, never just open just it. Just mail it to me. And please, never, let's never open it. Just put it away. Are we still in the read? Pearl Jam. Yes. Great. Edit. Lou. Go ahead. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> you said... <laughs> we're not even on the air yet. He started coming in the middle of a spot. Don't worry. We, we did the scissor. Okay. Oh, we did the scissor move? We did so the scissors. Good. Okay, good, good. As long as we get the scissors. Everyone, Grandma can see how good her famous recipes turned out. You can give the gift this holiday by visiting AuraFrames.com, and you get $30 off their best-selling frames with the code BONFIRE. These frames sell out quickly, though, so get yours before they're gone. That's AuraFrames.com, A-U-R-A, Frames.com, with promo code BONFIRE. Terms and conditions do apply. Chris, uh, yeah, that Chris, did start to take a left, Lou. I, I do apologize for that. Christine, I was stuck in the moment. Christine uh, I, is a giddy girl. <coughs> Look at her. Oh, she my God. She has a God. glow. Yeah. <laughs> she might go <laughs> Jill. <I> <laughs> <laughs> she might, go, she might go Jill on the break. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that uh, him and I would be good friends if we got to know each other. Yeah? Like, if we got to hang. Yeah. You love that so much. Yeah, well, You just want to be around him. <laughs> I just like, I like to... Talk I like, gear and shit. Is he into drugs and dogs? Just dogs. <laughs> no, it was funny. He came on the podcast and literally, like, when it got into, like, the power of psychedelics and all this, you know, mm -hmm. he was just kind of like, hmm, whatever. Because it was so a drummer funny. from the Grateful Dead, O'Teal, and I, and him. Yeah. On Zoom. Which is hard as fuck. Yeah. Because, you know, like, it's hard to do that with, you know. Yeah, it's a lot of people already. Yeah, and one of them's 80 and has taken acid 10 times a day for every day for the rest, his whole life. <laughs> no, he has the same energy to me as like when uh, SDR show, we did a Zoom with Brandon Boyd from mm -hmm. Incubus. Yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> like his whole, I'm like, whatever, you're, you're great. <laughs> um, but it's funny because he's got the thing, everything about him when you watch his thing is so hateable. But... He's just gorgeous and talented, and you realize that's all it is. Like, I'm hating him because he's nailing it. Because he's perfect and beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brandon Boyd, he was everything He was everything I was thinking. Brandon Boyd was uh, no shoes, linen pants, oh. uh, button-down shirt, but, you know, flowy and sleeves open. You could tell he's, like, thin still. His fantastic long hair around his model -y face. It was... He smelled like the changing of the seasons. He's sitting like by... He's, <laughs> yeah, he's sitting by like a sunned window. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, of course. Sun's coming through, so he's kind of got a glow around. He laughed at everything I said. Oh, he was beautiful. I felt like I was really kind of like jiving with John mm -hmm. when we were doing the podcast, almost kind of giving him like... These guys These and their mushrooms. Right. John, yeah, is this you? <laughs> John, are you this guy? Hey, John, hey, John I, have, I have a grill here. If you're ever in Connecticut, I'd love to have you over. <laughs> How do you like your steak? Medium well? <laughs> I trust you'll be bringing the lady. <laughs> yeah, he's just a fun... I walked. I watched him walk into the cellar one night, and it was... He was in like... Jacob, did you get to smell his hands? I, not me, but I don't know who's more in love right now, Christine or Lou. Black Lou? He just showed me the picture he got. With yeah, Black Lou. He's, Black, Black he's giddy. Did, yeah. He's giddy. Black Lou's literally doing the step oh. forward, step back, <laughs> step forward, step back. Like, he's like, like you're, you're having pissy pants feelings. Go ahead, show Jay. <laughs> all you have to do is just impose our heads on your body for all of us. I'll <laughs> fire Christmas card. Hey. Oh, wow. Damn, you're cheesing hard. He walked into the cellar <laughs> one night in like sweatpants that like you'd wear to like 
walk a dog in the rain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just paint on it, like whatever. And you would have like a, a Greek God walked in the room. Yeah. Like wives literally like stab their husbands in the neck with forks and like girlfriends just like everyone just like gravitated towards them. You and see, guys were like, I can't be mad at her. Yeah. Dude, Christine didn't even she was just looking at him and she just moved the microphone like over. She was like <laughs> I stood next to him for scale. Yeah. It was, it was tough for me. So the whole, I had to keep the door open, and I did not want to stand next to that god. Yeah, he really makes. He's you look so like a much bitch. better looking in person. He's a good looking man. He's good looking. He's tall. Plays he's, a mean guitar. That's the worst. I mean, he's like beautiful and extremely tall. And this is going to take at least two weeks for me to work off. Likable. <laughs> Damn. Brilliantly talented. In shape. Great voice. From Connecticut. <laughs> He's so he wants you to take his music so seriously. He makes a wretched face when he sings with his beautiful voice. I also feel like if <laughs> he has you, to throw that to you that way. Yeah. I mean, the the thing that's so captivating about him too is that he came in here and immediately complimented you like two or three times, and then asked you deep, profound, "Who's out there doing you right now?" What a fucking, you were like, uh, and I wanted you to be like, I don't know, a whole genre is fucking stealing from me. Said, a whole generations doing he crowd work. The, he said, uh. <laughs> you remember my joke from my special? That's nutty. Hey, you don't went, even remember that joke. You go, it's he goes, it's things like that. He goes, I like the, yeah, I like the au jus on the on, yeah. the, on the word. Oh, give me a little taste. Give me, a little give me some taste of that dirty stuff. Give me a little horseradish on that. <laughs> First meat. one's free. I'm gonna have to pay you for the next you one. Went, you went. You <laughs> went. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I got a new one out. I go. You like that one? You like that? Yeah, you like that one. <laughs> I got a new one out. Have you seen it? You want it? Look at Christine just put up video of him sh shredding to watch. Oh, it's a Christmas. Not even good quality. She's just so turned on. She can't stop. 